Canadian news on Facebook and Instagram, it's almost impossible to find now. Meta, the owner of both social media platforms, is blocking Canadian news. This move came after the federal government passed legislation called the Online News Act, or C-18, that would make multinational tech giants pay for sharing links to news content in Canada. Hi, what up, YouTube? It's the No Pigeon Podcast. In the depth check, and it's your house, Shaka. Hey, so, like, for those who don't know, motherfuckers trying to wrap me out the plastic because I'm acting brand new. Ooh. Bars. I'm feeling like a son because I'm about to rise on you hoes. Oof. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I think it was Bill C18, was it? Well, the thing is, I, I saw it. I got the notification on Facebook or. Instagram or whatever, and they were talking about, in Canada now, we're not going to post any more news stories, yep. and I was like, oh, okay, cool, I thought it was like... I was getting that I on, Insta- was, I got I that on Instagram and Facebook, we I ain't going to... because the bill that they passed said you couldn't do it anymore. No, no, no. I didn't they, know if this is the reason Trudeau, why. Trudeau, well, Trudeau was spending so much money in the Ukraine and throwing money around in stupid situations, and the people are starving, you know what I'm saying? I just saw a video yesterday, a picture yesterday of uh, uh, um, steaks and, at Sobeys, ribeye steaks, $90 a pop. Right, yeah. Sta- uh, states are some, expensive. Some, states. Somewhere, yeah, somewhere in okay. Ontario, right? Sort of Ajax or something like that, right? Uh, but the point was is that for those that live in Canada, know what's going on. We've seen it. We've seen see it during it. the trucker convoy, right? Mm. We've seen it during uh, COVID. You know what I'm saying? We've been seeing it. The government is is a very mm. fascist government, and those that don't want to accept that are probably <laughs> leaning on the left side. You know what I'm saying? You remember how crazy? You remember how crazy? These, these liberals were when, when uh, uh, COVID was out? It was bad. You can't leave your house. If you're caught driving without with a person beside you, you could be fine, ticketed, towed. If you're an anti-masker, you're a terrible human. Oh, my God. The amount of debates I got in with people. I, I think, think about the I irony. I friends on, 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 in real life on Instagram. On I ain't Facebook. lose no motherfucking friends because my friends don't roll like that. But I've definitely talked to people. Check, check out the irony, right? I was talking to girls on online dating apps. I ain't gonna name which one because I don't. I don't want. I don't. Need, I don't need my inbox flooded. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. But, oh. but, oh. um, we would get into these debates about uh, COVID because I can't help myself. You know what I'm saying? Me either. And you find yourself matching with liberals because these liberal women are pretty like hoes. Oh, do you find they're yourself hoes. matching with them? Well, I mean, they're hoes. Yeah. They're the, they're the most like readily Sexual, available. I prefer to call them sexually liberated women. Yeah, they hoes. So um, and and the whole world knows it too. But y'all, y'all just trying to they try to like change the term. They try to change the term to convince us of <laughs> otherwise. Now you, is this the hand signal for change the term? Yeah, you get changed it. You it used to be term. like this. It used to oh. be like this, then it got changed. You know what I'm saying? Man, come to Somalia. I'll show uh, you the hand signals. Right. I come from Somalia. I didn't know that was one. <laughs> yes. Yeah, anyway, so. Uh, you made me lose my damn train of thought, man. <laughs> so, um, they 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 very fascistic, if that's even a word, right? Just they 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 fascist, right? To the point where they was doing the trucker convoys. So when they was protesting, no, 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 actually, let me get back to the the Tinder thing. I didn't say Tinder. I said uh, one of them dating sites, right? Dun, 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 anyway, so these hoes will be on there looking for sex, but when you debate them about uh 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 COVID mandates and the legitimacy of and this and that and the vaccines. They gonna lose their mind. Meanwhile, they're on the website to exchange bodily fu- fluids. Make it make sense. You're on during a pandemic. You're on a website to exchange bodily fluids, and you complaining about ma- you you arguing debating mask mandates and this and that. And you like, know what? you're not following. Like it's cool if you want them dick, but to go to the grocery store, like well, as long as you right. Oh, oh, wait, you can't say that word. I got to delete trouble. that shit. Fuck. You're going to get us in trouble out here, man. Yeah, you're right, you're right. I got to delete my too, right? But anyways, the point is, is I got to stop saying that, right? <laughs> Hypocr- I can't say this word. I'm going to say it again. So I gotta Hypocrisy, cognitive dissonance, all kinds of issues that y'all, y'all lack the logic to really step outside yourself and see that, right? And that goes for this case, too, with a uh, uh, troubadour as my... Uh, contract in the south said he said oh i heard your president troubadour he uh 
I heard about your president Trudeau. He trying to take away your guns. And I was like, yes, sir, he is. Trudeau is. Right? But and that happened. So the firearms, right? So basically, with Bill C eighteen, I believe it was. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh uh Trudeau decided I guess he wanna he wanna he wanna get some more money somehow. I guess. Right? So he uh uh decided to make it a law that these tech companies have to pay for Canadian news. For Canadian news to be shared. Every time Canadian news is shared. So if I share some shit with you, pay. Well, pay. Probably, probably pay. CBC is like pretty much gets most of its money from the government and they're probably about to die. You mean taxpayers? Yeah, sorry. From the for, for, for such a biased news source, it comes from taxpayers. Yep. And who tend to be the highest tax brackets? <laughs> Conservatives. Mm-hmm. Right? <laughs> Albertans. You know what I'm saying? So like... Oh, uh, basically, think about think about the flaws in that, right? A, a, a news company could literally hire bots to just share and disseminate information without uh, uh, without human, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 touch or whatever you'd say, yeah. it, right? And, and so just make more money. Like it don't make sense, right? So make it make sense, right? But that's a, so, a move of that was a very unwise move of desperation from Trudeau. So I heard that Trudeau kind of. Someone say even lashed out at the tech company. Yeah. So basically, what happened is we're having all these uh, fires. All, magically, we're having all these fires. Um, harp. <laughs> now we got all these fires. Yeah. So apparently, we got all these these fires happening all over the damn world. And Trudeau oh, yeah, is Kelowna's getting fucked up right now. Yeah, Kelowna's getting fucked up. Phil's parents, you know what I'm saying? They they had to evacuate. I mm. think one of his cousins has like a horse ranch, and they had to leave the horses there. Ah, damn. You know man. what I'm saying? RP. <laughs> Rest in peace, horses, man. We got some fire horse. Uh, Shout uh, out to my equestrians. We gonna have some fire horse uh, uh, t bones later on this week. Horse sausage, no homo. Yeah, but but anyways, check this out. So yes, homo. That is some homo ass shit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, talking about a horse. No, I'm just kidding. Meatballs. But I'm just kidding. But what I'm saying is that like. Ironically, just like weeks later, we have this crazy fire in Kelowna. Well, I mean, all of BC has been up in flames, really, right? Because I went camping. BC looking like Maui right now. I went camping earlier this month, and uh, uh, no fire bans the whole time. You know what I'm saying? And it was like raining. How's it? Like, I mean, yeah, we was in White Swan. Shout out to the fans. Come check us in White Swans. To the enemies, come check us in White Swan. You know what I'm saying? Just because you know the, the enemies is all liberals. They don't got no hammers. You know what I'm saying? They don't got. I ain't worried about them. You know what I'm saying? But um. Yeah. So BC's been up in flames, and now Trudeau is freaking out. For let's just check this out. But whether they've lost their homes, about uh, w- w- whether they need to evacuate, about how things are going, and that's where local news is so important, and the work that uh, people are doing to share messages and keep people informed with safe. Uh, up to date information is unbelievably. Yeah, we got to speak on that. Unbelievably. <laughs> unbelievably. Mm. What the fuck was that, boy? Watch your damn mouth, boy. Clean it. We don't do that ass. around here to eat parts. Wipe your ass. Wipe your goddamn ass and brush mm. your teeth. It is so inconceivable that a company like Facebook is choosing to put corporate profits ahead of ensuring that local news organizations can get up-to-date information to Canadians and reach them where Canadians spend a lot of their time, online, on social media, on Facebook. Facebook made billions of dollars in profits over the past years. I mean, y'all, y'all wanted to demonize X, a Twitter, X. So y'all, y'all wanted y'all wanted to demonize X. Meanwhile, these same liberal groups that you were uh, uh, these social media uh, forces that you guys raised up in the high esteem. Now y'all got issues with, huh? Now y'all got issues with oh, them, huh? Well, you know, what the fact checkers ain't cool no more. Yeah, the fact check. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what's funny? Actually, on uh, one of the talk uh, about fascists, like t- uh, uh, shout out to the No Pin Podcast uh, Instagram. I seen one of the posts on there got, uh, had a fact check thing under it. You see that? Yeah, I got I get I get plenty of those. I'm like, oh my god. I get fact checkers all the time. Hit us with those ones? No, I get them all the time where I'm just chilling and I'm like, I try to share some shit or I seen it and I'm like, oh shit, I just got a fact check warning on the motherfucker, right? God damn. Yeah, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. Let's go back. Let's go back to your boy Troubadour. 
And we recently passed legislation that says, Facebook, if you're going to be sharing news or work done by Canadian journalists or local news, you have to make sure they're compensated for it fairly. First of all, you have to make sure they're compensated for it fairly. That's a government organization, you know what I'm saying? You have to make sure that they equally represent people of different uh, 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 political ideologies. No, no, whoa, we don't have to be fair in that sense. And stop calling motherfuckers journalists, because don't nobody do any journalism. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just regurgitate. It's like watching They Live. Remember They Live? Roddy Roddy Piper? You haven't oh, seen yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's like watching Nobody. They Live in 1984. Like, this shit is happening before our eyes, and you can't even speak on it because they're going to call you a uh, uh, conspiratoire. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? That's my French. You know what I'm saying? Quebecois. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that Bernac. That Bernac. It's a conspiratoire. You know yeah, what I'm saying? It's, it's such a disrespect is that these days to be called a conspiracy theorist. Oh, you're a conspiracy theorist. No, it's been that. Trust me, because I've been, I've been, like, I've been calling conspiracy theorists since I was like fourteen years old, bro. I, I'm telling you, like it's, I've been called that. It was, it's Some been conspiracies are pretty. You know where the term obvious. came? You know where the term come from? Conspiring. It came from like uh, I think it was, uh, believe it or not, I think it might have been from the JFK era or, or Edgar. Uh, um, I, was, I was gonna say Edgar uh, Allan Poe. Uh, uh, Ed, no, Edgar Hoover. Okay. J. Edgar Hoover, Gay Edgar Hoover, oh. right? And they basically was using that. No, it wasn't. Sorry, it was it was post JFK because they wanted to call. They came I up with it was a, Nixon. Uh, sure, Water right? Gate, it could have been Lyndon Johnson because Lyndon Johnson came in term after after JFK, right? I, I don't know the wow. exact date. I'm not an American like that. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is that the term came in. It was implemented to uh, to basically ridicule and mock people uh, that questioned. The huh. cause, the cause of JFK's death, right? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so they use the term conspiracy theorist, right? So you're, you're, you're huh, what are you doing? Thinking? <laughs> yeah, so it's been a derogatory How term, dare right? You? It's been a condescending derogatory term, and aliens. they use they use it for yeah for them for aliens. They use it for everything, right? And one thing you're learning now is the liberals, y'all, the government. What do y'all have to say for yourself? I'm talking about the voters too, them dumbass voters that just think, ah, they, they literally vote based on why they, they don't like someone's personality. They don't like something they said. Meanwhile, look what people are doing. You know what I'm saying? Look what people are doing that on your side. Noxious. I can't vote for them. Right? I don't care about their policies or <laughs> what they're going to do for my country. You know what I'm saying? But let's go, a jerk. Let's go back to Troubadour. Making sure that local journalists are fairly paid for keeping Canadians informed on things like wildfires. Facebook is blocking news from its sites. In a larger picture, that's bad for democracy because democracy depends on people being able to trust high quality journalism of all sorts of different perspectives and points of view. Bullshit. Where up to date local information is more important than ever. Facebook's putting corporate profits ahead of people's safety. Where did they learn that from? <laughs> Where did they learn that from? He's talking about like blocking democracy. Uh, what was you? Uh, what was? Uh, what was you doing when you was freezing people's banks accounts, bank accounts during the uh, uh, the Freedom Convoy? What was you doing? What, 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 what would you call that? Trudeau is the epitome of the hypocrisy <laughs> in democracy. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Euthanizing people's dogs. You Think of how foul that is. Euthanizing people's dogs for being involved in the in the freedom convoy. I never even heard about that. You ain't heard about you that? Killing dogs? Yeah. And the liberal and the and, and the they still riding with them? What you mean? There's oh, masses. Yeah, you kill people's dogs if they're Pass bad. me a bogey, man. I'm if stressed out. A, I quit cigarettes, guy, but I, if they're a bad guy, you can kill their dog. That's cool, actually. Yeah. No, never mind. Yeah. Killing dogs isn't cool unless they're a bad guy. It's like it's like you catch a pedo and you're like you know what? Let's 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 wipe out his kids. No, <laughs> let's gonna, let's wipe out his kids. That's the other thing too, I don't understand too. Like I mean, I hate uh, people that are child predator predators and pedophiles and that's the next person. But you don't you can't kill them. Killing is not right either. Uh, I, mean, I killing, believe I believe in at least neutering them. But you know what? Yeah, you know what? sure. I believe put him in jail is worse than fucking killing him. I got a very they get I got bad a very in jail, bro. You know I got that. A, I got a controversial Dinners opinion. Dinners get bad in jail. Uh, sometimes right? they get they, they get the PC environments too, right? But um, I got a kind of controversial opinion with it, I, and I, I I'm kind of against the whole like doing really harsh things to the to the pe pedos. You know what I'm saying? Because think of how much motherfuckers is locked up for crimes they didn't commit, right? All right. Now imagine being and, and I'm thinking about how many times women falsely accuse men, right? Okay. Imagine being charged with some shit that you didn't do, and then they say, "Oh, we cutting your wee wee off." So we we did 
That a wee wee dinner. All up feeling like a wee wee dinner from the sauce and salmon to Alaska Pipeline. If you got a wee wee dinner, that dick ain't big at all. You no. sure? Shout out to uh, uh, Johnny Mac Daddy with the name Capri. Ooh wee. Ooh wee. Anyway, so that's messed up, right? So that's why I'm kind of against it. Because it's like, imagine. Imagine a chick lied on you. And now you in court, now you in a uh, prison. They gonna cut off, cut off your. Well, that's even like uh, hungry man dinner. What's her name? Uh, shout out to Ro Roma Army. She had uh, covered. No up. shout out to Wo Roma Army, man. I try to reach out to her on Twitter. She just look. <laughs> she ain't even say nothing. Anyway, shout out to we Roma in the same city, she boy. We in the same city. You ain't gonna say what's up to Calgary. Me. Well, no, she she covered a, a thing where like this chick lied on a, her her baby daddy or whatever, and said he diddled the kids. Happens all the time. Miss Yvonne has acknowledged that her story about you touching your children in a sexual way was not true. And she and she called, she went on a live interview with her and called her out was like, and the chick's response was, well, I was mad. <laughs> that happened, the same thing happened with uh, uh, one of Lil Durk's homies. I don't remember a nigga named Peanut or some weird name like that, but he got, he got uh, accused of that, right? And luckily the dude, well, he was proven innocent. <coughs> he he won in court. Like he's winning money. And did and, she get punished? I, I mean, he's winning money from her, but that's about it, right? But, but she didn't catch no jail time. Mm. Anyways, uh, we got we got a little off topic there for a second. We got a little. Did we though? Did we though? We were about it, it's all part of the same spectrum. You know what I'm saying? Okay, well let's just finish up the rest of this Trudeau clip. See what the hell, if you got anything else to say. To I don't think he got much of stuff. Said just a bunch of propaganda. But we going we going It's time for us to expect more. From corporations like Facebook that are making billions of dollars off of Canadians. What a goofball! You know what I'm saying? This you know what I'm saying? Go, man. It, it, and, and it's so messed up how it Fuck works this. in Canada. Like he's been in what eight years now? He's been in office. Canadians need to come together, bro. You was separating the Canadians bad two man, years ago. Tell your, tell your, tell you and your wife to come back together. How about that? Ooh, you ain't like that one. Ooh, you ain't like that one, Mister Mister Brownface. Mr. Brownface, Prime Minister, you notice how a lot of these liberals that be the loudest? They got a dark history. They got a dark history. They got something to hide. That's why they be screaming so loud. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm just, uh, I, I feel like his reign has slowly come to an end. He's not, he's not cool with Facebook and them anymore. He divorced his wife. He's starting to lose the, the support of the overall liberal media and all that shit. So I, is he, though? I think he is. I don't watch Canadian well, no, politics in like Canada, that. In Canada, don't, I don't think so. I mean, outside of like on the world spectrum, or I guess just on the USA spectrum, he's yeah. losing. He's losing. And shout out to the US because they they, they 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 talking more about this stuff than a lot of Canadians are. You know what I'm saying? I mean, there are Canadian YouTubers that talk about it, right? I don't really follow much of them, but I should follow some of them. Well, there's you know a lot saying, of uh, you know people in the space that are Canadians. I mean, look at Crowder. You, yeah, Crowder Canadian. I will preach Canadian, but they they they. They left oh, us. They, let's be real. Yeah, they, yeah. they acting like they in the middle, but they really left us. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> let's they, be real. They 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 already they were red pill for a minute. They, then they took the blue pill. They're kind of in a purple space right now. They don't even know where they at. Like no, you know what they doing? They they being careful. They being careful. They they don't want to ruin the the bank accounts like Fresh and Fit did, right? You know what yeah. I'm saying? That's really what it is. They being careful. But, oh, did, oh, we get to cover that maybe even. But like, how you going? I understand you want to maintain your your wallet. That's cool, but like. Change your whole... You got to speak on the truth. Otherwise... Kevin Samuel's die, you want to change the game. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, No, guys. but like... You know what I'm saying? Like... To you. How, how do you... When you look back in history and you see yourself as a guy that just kind of played it safe, that's... That's that's not really an angle that you... I guess... No, it's, 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 a, it's a weak move. I think so too, man. You don't, you don't stand for nothing, you'll fall for anything. You know what I'm saying? Let me get my first couple million and I'm gonna be, I'll, I'll be louder than I am now. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I got I got 1.6 million. That ain't gonna last me for five years, but <laughs> I, I'm happy for now. You know what I'm saying? But regardless, man. Well, that's the scoop, man. I'm glad I've watched that because I didn't know that that was the real reason that Facebook was doing that. I thought it yeah, was, it ain't no, it ain't no like contrived. I thought the bill said that, and I was like, whoa, this seems like a weird move. It seems like Canada wouldn't do this. Trudeau wouldn't do this, but he did it. Oh, okay, cool. Nope. Which you think you think Trudeau wouldn't do that? No, I thought I didn't think he would censor news from Facebook. They trying to criminalize uh uh uh, uh misgendering he people. He was just doing it about the money. That's what, that's why I was confused. I was like, why is this a thing? But well, that's socialism for you, right? Hey man, that's socialism. All right, for you, well, right? well, it's capitalistic socialism is what it is. <laughs> it's capitalism. You know what it is? Like, subscribe, subscribe, comment down below, hit the bell notification for hit the bell icon for notification. <laughs> uh, which one? Emails. Email us. Hit us up on Twitter. Rumble. 
X now. They call it X. Oh, yeah. X. Um, and then all that other stuff. All that other IG. goodness. Pace. Peace.